next topic we want to talk about is the ketogenic diet because a lot of people, especially in the world of diabetes, are encouraged to eat a low carbohydrate or ketogenic diet because it flatlines their blood glucose, it drops their A1C, and they get dramatic weight loss results in a short period of time. Uh, you've done many videos here about the, you know, about ketogenic diets and whether they're safe or not. Um, can you go into a little bit, a little bit of detail here about whether a animal based ketogenic diet is considered safe and how that contrasts versus a plant based ketogenic diet and whether that is considered safe for people with diabetes? Okay. Well, so I think the, the underlying, um, uh, the, the, we have an underlying wrong assumptions going into it right? We're treating the wrong thing. We're treating the symptoms, not the cause, right? Um, so, uh, you know, high blood sugars are a symptom of, uh, of your body's um, inability to, uh, um, to tol tolerate carbohydrates because of insulin resistance. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, treating the symptoms doesn't do anything to treat the underlying cause. In fact, it could potentially make the cause worse if you're eating all the saturated fat and it's getting clogged in your um, uh, muscles, liver, and pancreas and, and worsening your insulin resistance. So you could have beautiful blood sugars and um, because you're not eating any carbohydrates, but your disease is actually getting worse at the same time such that, you know, a banana three months ago before you started this diet would, you know, uh, would give you a small bump. And it's even worse now, even more carbohydrate intolerant um, uh, after a month on the ketogenic diet. And since, thankfully, Ketogenic diets are so unsustainable. When you do come off, you could be in a worse state of affairs than before. Diabetes reversal is when you're eating, when you have normal blood sugars on a normal diet, then you no longer have diabetes anymore. It's right. I mean, otherwise, that's not diabetes reversal. Um, that's just, uh, I think in my book, I, I compare it to a faith healing out, someone out of a wheelchair by restricting them to bed rest. It's like, okay, if I chain you in a bed your whole life, you have no, need, no more need for a wheelchair. I just, I just cured you out of your need for a wheelchair. Yeah, but you're chained in a bed your whole life. Like you didn't actually treat the, the underlying cause. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, plant-based, animal-based, ketogenic diets make no sense from a nutritional standpoint. It's like the opposite of one's recommendations of the American Diabetes Association or, frankly, any. Um, healthy uh, guidelines for weight loss. Now, can uh, ketogenic diets be helpful in some cases of intractable pediatric epilepsy or some rare genetic conditions where you don't have the glucose shuttle transporter in your brain? Yeah, sure. But um, for for day to day health and wellness, I mean, it's just it's just uh, insanity, right? Okay. So as far as I think you already answered this, but as far as weight loss is concerned people often find that they are able to lose weight quickly, which is generally a good thing. Is a ketogenic oh, diet... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, on the scale. See, uh, 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 the, looking at, just looking at the bathroom scale, ketogenic diets seem like a smashing success. So, you know, there's this NIH study where I showed on the... Um, uh, where I showed in one of my ketogenic diet videos, which is recently... They're all now up. Remember, I used to be doing these, these interviews and I'd be like, I got ketogenic diet. They're coming. They're coming. But now the videos are up. So anyone can watch them. Anyone can share them with anyone in their life that they care about who's on one of these diets. Um, where here's the science. So these NIH researchers put people, um, and so they have people there on a, on a diet where they're losing about half pound a um, uh, half pound a week. And then ketogenic diet, boom, three and a half pounds within seven days. Boom, right? Dramatic drop in weight based on the scale. But if you're actually looking inside their bodies, the exact opposite happened. They actually started losing less body fat. Um, so body fat loss slowed in half, switching to a ketogenic diet. What they were losing was uh, mostly water weight, but also protein. They were losing lean mass. That's why CrossFit trainees placed on a ketogenic diet lose as much as 8% of uh, their muscles shrink, their leg muscles shrink by as much as 8% um, within a matter of months. Um, it's because your body starts cannibalizing its own protein because you're, 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 you're uh, you're, you're depriving it of the preferred fuel for the body, which is carbohydrates. Do you, just out of curiosity, um, could you go into a little bit of the mechanism there? Because most people believe, okay, wait, you're eating a ketogenic diet, which tends to be a little bit you know, higher in fat, but certainly a little bit higher in protein than a plant-based diet. So the traditional methodology is, okay, great, higher protein diet that's going to preserve muscle mass. But what you're saying is actually that it does the exact opposite, which is it actually 
decreases muscle mass. Um, and the reason it does is because you, we have, it's because of, it's because of your b big, beautiful brain, frankly. Okay. It's because of your big, beautiful brain. Oh, there are some mammals, emperor penguins, elephant seals, uh, hibernating bears that can literally just use their fat. They turn their fat into ketones, completely fuels their brain, no need for glucose, no need for carbohydrates at all. Amazing. So they literally, they lose zero muscle mass going on a ketogenic diet or completely fasting. Um, so they're having no food intake, strict fasting, lose none of their muscle mass. That's crazy. All they do is they just burn through their body fat. They can go for months that way. Unbelievable. The problem is we got a cerebrum, or at least some people do. Um, uh, the problem is because we have such big glucose hungry brains. Our brains burn through a half cup of sugar every day. They, I mean, they're just voracious. I mean, in fact, um, uh, about one fifth of the entire uh, human metabolism happening in the brain in kids, it can be even more, it can be up to 50% of, of, of all the calories being burned is happening in the brain. It's just this firestorm of activity. Um, and, uh, and, so, um, and so although our liver can, turn, can, dis, um, can use um, our body fat, turn it into ketones and shuttle it up, um, into our um, into our brain just because our brain can't use fat directly because the fat can't get through the blood brain barrier. But we can turn fat into ketones and find a way to get um, calories um, into the brain uh, to be burned. But it's not enough. Our brain continues to need a trickle of glucose. Continues to need blood sugar to survive. Um, and so uh, that so where so it still needs blood sugar, but you're not eating any blood sugar. You're, where, how, where's the blood sugar going to come from? So your body has to make blood sugar from scratch. What does it do? It looks around um, and it starts eating up your protein. It takes your protein, actually can convert protein into sugar and, and, uh, and uh, shove it up into your brain. Now, if that was all it did, I mean, before, uh, then, I mean, we, in two weeks, we, our entire skeletal muscle would be dead. We'd be dead in two weeks of fasting if we didn't have ketosis, if our liver wasn't able to convert fat into ketone. That's amazing but it's not enough. That's why if you have somebody fast and you add even a tiny amount of carbohydrates, like um, these like civil rights fasters used to, used to add honey to their water um, uh, that, the, that they were drinking, just takes a few grams of sugar a day of carbohydrates to dramatically drop lean uh, body mass loss um, during fasting. Uh, and that's because your body just needs a little bit of sugar um, and so, and it doesn't want to break, it doesn't want to eat your muscles up, but you gave it no fucking choice because you're on a ketogenic diet. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, the Cori cycle, that's exactly what it's called. It's the conversion of amino acids from muscle protein into glucose to shuttle up to the brain to actually run your brain off of that. Okay.